questions are up. The camera is rolling. Let's vlog, bitches. What's up, everyone? It's Alicia, too, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Q&A, and I promise I'll be doing these monthly, so this is going to be the first one since this whole 2023 reboot, and I'm psyched for it because, one, you are all very creative, some rather disturbing, but we will not touch upon those today, but these questions were so much fun to look through, so I'm really excited to dive into them with all of you guys. Now, you know the gist before we dive into that. If you could like the video, drop a comment, with any other questions you might have for upcoming Q&As, that would be amazing. Uh, subscribe to the channel, notification bells, all of that fun stuff. So now we're gonna start things off with a question from TD55Takeover. I have all the cues over here. Uh, but he was asking, what wrestling move would you least want to take during a match? Oh shit. Okay, well I've been in the ring a little bit more with Nat, my worstie, and it's not so fun. <laughs> like, I love watching wrestling, but being in there, it's terrifying and it hurts so much. And I once took a, was it a pile driver or a pedigree? One of those two moves busted my nose open, so that was good fun. So let's stick with one of those two. And we have one coming in from Raj Sabbath Costello, and this is actually someone who used to watch almost daily my NotFest live streams when I was doing NotFest daily last year. So Raj, fantastic seeing you here, welcome back. He's asking, how is it to interview Still Panther as you've done it a few times? It's fantastic. I was kind of raving about them a few days back in a video I posted just about like the most watched interviews of last year, and they were one of them. And I was just kind of saying how fun they are to speak with every time, how spontaneous it is, and just how much I laugh any moment I'm sitting down with any of those dudes, so I need to catch up with Panther soon, okay? Terrence Whitehead is asking, what's your favorite wrestling moment this year? Well, Terrence, I would have to go with my own where I turned heel on everybody because that was quite frankly one of the most bizarre, fun, wild things I did throughout 2022. So I've got to go with my heel turn. Broadcaster X wants to know, record or cassette? Now, growing up, I actually did listen to a few cassette tapes because of my dad having them around and we always were listening to records, but we actually grew up really heavily on CDs, which is strange. Well, not strange, I guess it was for the time, right? You mentioned that now because you're like, what's a CD? But anyway, for me, I just love listening to stuff digitally because it just gives me so much more of a reach in terms of listening to something at a time. I'm a shuffler, that's why. I like to shuffle my tracks around. So for me, it's digital over records and cassette. And here's one from Mr. MCG9000. Austin or The Rock? Whew. Okay, both are fantastic. Both have been entertaining me for years upon years. I think in terms of Oh fuck, I don't know. To me, they're kind of the same in terms of rank. Like they're both fantastic on the microphone, both great wrestlers. They each have crazy charisma. They have their own gimmicks. I think it's a tie here. Marlon wants to know what's my go-to snack while on the road, which is a really fun question because I fucking love food. I think for me, it used to be Swedish fish. I've kind of phased out of that as of right now. So I'm really enjoying goldfish. I went from one fucking fish to another. <laughs> But goldfish, they are the snack that smiles back and I just, I love them so much. So yeah, definitely gotta go with that one. Oh, but I do love a good Oreo every once in a while. And for our last question of this q and it is what is your earliest memory of wrestling? Which is always nostalgic for me to think back to because it's actually Hell in a Cell, Taker, Mick Foley going at it to the greatest, most bizarre, fascinating lengths. And I'll never forget seeing the, the ear all fucked up, the tooth in the nose, everything, and thinking, this is so gnarly, show me more. <laughs> so it'd have to be that one, I'd have to go with that. And I think that's why for me hosting the Hell in a Cell tour for Foley, I did a few select dates for him. I think that's why that was so important to me. So shout out Mick Foley. And there we go, everyone. That was the Q&A for the day. Thank you so much to everyone who submitted questions. Like I said, if you have any of your own, just leave them in the comments on this video and I will be answering them next time. I am about to film a few more things. I have some wrestling stuff to do, some vlogging. Man, it has been crazy busy, but I also want to watch a new documentary, so we're gonna have to figure all that out. <laughs> but I love you guys. Thank you for watching and you will see me very soon. I promised you I'm sticking to this and I will be with new content, so rock and roll. Bye.